and we are back, Harpen and Common. We played nine holes here, first video on the channel. We're gonna go for 18 holes. We're on the back tees. The course is in fantastic condition. We are gonna try and break par. The wind is out. The hat is still backwards. Let's just get straight into it. Hole one. We've got a pretty straightaway par four. It's 330 yards. The wind is helping. I'm gonna play aggressive today. So, you know, we're gonna bang the driver, try and get close to the green. See if we can start strong. Oh, I've ripped it! It's on the pin, go! Woo! Good start, just left of the green. Come on. Good tee shot, we're just past the pin here. It's hard downwind, but it's got about 3.30. Got a pretty straightforward chip shot, decent lie. Green's running away from me, so it's really important that, you know, I focus on my landing spot here. Looks like it's gonna run sort of downhill left to right towards the end. So I've gone with a 58 degree here. I'm gonna open the face slightly and I'm just gonna try and land it maybe a couple of feet on the green and hopefully it releases down to the pin. Oh, I've had it too hard. Way too hard, I've de-greened it. Come out really hot, I hit it nicely, just come out really hot. We've overhit the chip. It will be very disappointing if we don't start with a three here. But we've at least left it below the hole. Come on, we need to start for birdie. So I reckon this is gonna be, again, reading it in thirds as usual. Progressively right to left. Slightly uphill. I think it's right edge, just a right edge putt. First part of the day, see if we can get the pace right. Oh, it was a good putt. It was a good putt, it just broke more than I thought. That's very disappointing, very disappointing. But the greens are absolutely pure, by the way, at Harpen and Common. Wow, they are unbelievable. Just snuck her in right edge. <laughs> Imagine making five there. All right, we've parred the first. First out of the car, no warm ups, no putts. Let's see how we go. Hole two, disappointing par on the first, especially after being greenside in one, but we'll, we'll put it down to just coming out of the car. We've got a Straight away par four, 384 yards. I would never hit driver here, but the driver felt good in the first and I'm determined to play aggressive today. So we're going driver downwind. If we can hit it 320, 330 again, it will leave us a little 50 yarder. and Hopefully we can nick a birdie on this one. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That's the best drive I've hit with this driver ever. <gasps> Not even joking. Not even joking, I cannot remember the last time I have hit a driver like that. <laughs> Come on, don't make a par here, Chris. Don't you be making a par here. The drive's gone about 3.30. It's left us 61 yards. It's another good tee shot. I'll be honest, I love that. I actually love that. There's no magnet, okay. We've not got preferred lies today, so we play it as it lies. The, the course is in an absolutely mint condition. Thank you to Max and Rob for having me again. What a beautiful, well, the weather's not great, but the course is beautiful. Right, so the ladder drill is coming out. And because of what Jamie said, Jamie, this is for you, mate. I'm cleaning my grooves. I'm gonna make sure it's, I've done it properly. So we've got 61, did I say 61? I think I said 61. Downwind. Probably want to land it about 58, and it's probably playing about 54, 55. So we're going to play a 55 yard shot, which is going to be a firm 50, which for me is just past my hip. And let's see how we go. I've nipped it, just right at a pin. Get up, hop, one bounce. Oh, the ladder drill strikes again. Strike, by the way. Jamie, thank you, because the grooves were lovely and clean. <laughs> I love the ladder drill. I'm not going to say nothing about being a fireman today, let me tell you that. So, walking on the green, what I'm doing is I'm looking where I've landed that ball. Now, that was from about 60 yards. You know, it's safe to say that's landed six yards short and it's finished pretty much bang on. So I'm going to log that in my mind. So next time I have a similar shot, I'm going to probably take off five or six because the greens have definitely got a little bit of a bounce in them before they check up. And I mean, look at them. I know I've said it, but wow. I feel like I'm at Augusta National. 
Shout out Harpen and Common Green staff. Wow, looks unbelievable. Very, very lucky to be playing here today. Just hope that rain stays away. And I hope there's more, hope the wind twists when we come this way so we play downwind all day. Again, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna always feel like I come into this sort of final third and just get a sense of what I feel. And to be honest with you, I just feel like it's dead straight. I don't feel like it's gonna get outside the hole either way. So they're rolling pure. We're gonna go straight and we're just gonna focus on making a nice stroke with good tempo and see if we can get a birdie on hole number two. Get in there. One under through two. Needed it, needed it after that start. Oh my God, the greens are rapid. I'm scared of them. One under through two, good start, could have been two. Now we've got a par five. We're downwind, it's 540 yards. I mean, it's straight away, it goes round to the left. Today's conditions, we could run out of fairway a little bit long. There's two mounds up there. I think they're about 300 yards, but I'm still hitting driver because I am going to play very aggressive today. Now, left is out of bounds. And if you've seen previous videos, I love a little left. So we're going to make sure we clear the body a little bit harder just to make sure that we do not go that way. And let's keep going with this driver. Oh, he's ripped another one. I'll tell you what, the driver's on flames. It's just up the right side, it might run into the rough, but this, I'll tell you what, I went to PXG HQ last week, I've got to mention this. I felt like the ball speed was down just a little bit. Went and seen Miguel, my man at PXG, changed the swing weight in the head, and it's coming off so much faster. I mean, game changer. To be honest, that's three of the best tee shots in a row I've hit for a long time. We're right in the middle of the fairway, right side, We've hit it about 340. We've got 210 yards, I think I said. 210 yards on them, so it's about 330 odd. Slightly downwind again. Looks like it might be towards the back, that pin. So again, I'm gonna be thinking about that wedge shot. This is gonna come in a little bit lower, so I don't want you flying it too much. Probably looking to land this around 205. Downwind. So I'm gonna play a 195 shot here. So I'm gonna hit a smooth six iron, which goes about 195, 197. Hopefully make a nice swing. Anywhere on the green, two putts, there we go. Come on, baby. Land soft. Sit. Oh my God, I think it's over the back. I mean, what a golf shot. Literally down the flag. For oh, the long game's on flames. I haven't played golf for two weeks. Just saying, FYI. Come on. I think that's so high as well, I just can't stop it. And the greens aren't rock solid, they're just a little firm. Just the wind is so strong. So if, anyways, we're here in two. Got a good lie. Got the 58 in hand. Hopefully we learn from that first hole, but the good news here is we're chipping back into the wind, right? So that means we can be a little bit more aggressive and we'll have a little bit more stopping power on the ball. Okay, it'd be lovely to hold this, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely. Oh. The touch though, Ooh, livening up the fingers a little bit. So tap in. Right, two under through three. Listen, should be free, but if you'd have told me this morning, I'd have taken that. Let's go. Hole number four, what a lovely par three this is. This is, I remember when I was a kid, this was one of the biggest tests on this golf course. 198 on the card off the back tees. We've got a front pin today, so it's playing close to around 170. Downwind, and we've just learned how far the wall's going. So I'm actually hitting a 9-9. I hit my 9 about 156. So I think if I hit this 156, it's probably gonna fly to maybe 166. Have that hop, bounce, stop about that far away, tap it in. Easy. Oh my God, I've got it going today, boy. Be the right club. I mean, it's not a tapping, but it's 20 feet wide of it. I'll bite your hand off for that, off this tee. Right, that worked out pretty well. You know, it's a very, think about these greens at Harpen and Common, right? And if you do get a chance to play here and you haven't, you should, because it's not, it's not a massively long course. It's not short, but it's, it's no medium, but the greens are very narrow to hit into. And a lot of them are quite small. So growing up as a junior here, there was like such an importance on iron play. And I feel like since I moved away from him, my own play's actually gone downhill. 
remember when I was a kid, like my iron playing short game was a joke because I was around these greens. You can see all the runoff areas, the tight fringes and the small greens. You just had to be razor sharp with your short game. Then gone away, started to play longer courses, worked on the drive and etc. Deprived the short game and, and then the, um, and the iron play. And coming back here, I mean, this green, look at the entrance, it's tiny. So, you know, this, I've missed the green here, but what am I, 15 feet away and I'm, I'm buzzing. Buzzing about it, if I'm honest. If we can roll this in, I really feel like we've stole one. All right, the thing about being off the green, I can't line the ball up. So we're gonna go purely on instinct here, thinking about where that ball's gonna enter. Okay, got my line. Again, just like the first video, now I've got my line, I'm just gonna be thinking about the pace of the putt and these greens being absolutely rapido. I uh, just pushed it a teeny bit, but the pace, just give me tappings all day around here, please. You get above the hole and it's scary. We'll take a par and now we turn round into the wind. We just got to defend, 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 defend now. 146, hole number five. Again, now I'm thinking about this pin is like, it's the wind is in out and out of the right, the pin's on the left. We do not want to miss left because it kind of runs down, it will short side us. So, we're gonna try and guard on the right side of this pin, but you've got some overhanging trees here on the right hand side. So you can't really send it too far right because you've got them. So I'm gonna to have to try and hold something up into this wind, 146. I probably wanna land this about 143, just short right of it, probably playing closer to, it's probably playing about 155. That's the guess. So 155 we know is a nine iron, but I don't really wanna get it up in the air with that wind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit an eight iron, Back foot, shoulder to shoulder, and we'll see if we can flood it in there nice and low. Oh, be good, please. Oh, I've done what I said not to do. It's just overdrawn, landed just left of the flag, and it's missed the green left. What a goal shot. I'm happy with the swing. Oh, man, that wind is so strong. I had like 30 yards of movement on it. I actually hit a good shot, but it was, the wind affected it so much. Saving grace again, we're playing back into the wind. We've got a pretty good lie, a little bit of grass here. So I'm gonna play this a little bit further back just to get sort of into the back of the ball. I'm probably gonna go same club because it is gonna sort of snake to the right quite quickly. So we'll go 58, we'll clean the grooves. Never seen the club face so clean. Okay. So the, the lies allow me to play the shot, but I've got to kind of get just a little bit into the back of it. And now I'm going to think about how I see this shot and where I want to land it. I mean, I feel like this is going to come in sideways at the end. I think I need to land this ball up here, which looks crazy. But I think if I land it here, it takes a skip and then kind of takes the slope round. Let's see how we go. I've called it, boys. Oh! <laughs> did it, to anyone else, did that look like Tiger Woods' chip in the Masters or what? <laughs> oh my God. What a chip. Literally, I told you I was going to do that. That is a joke, isn't it? It's really embarrassing, though, when you give it the old. It's a free, but I gave it the old one of them, didn't I? Gave it the old one of them. Backfired. Two under through five. Playing nicely. Still a little bit annoyed about the first hole, but I've got to get over it, yeah? Practice what you preach. So we're on hole six. It's 401 yards off this back tee into, an, into a hooli, right? So we're gonna, I've just sat, the bunker on the left is like 255 to fly it, which it is in play, but if I can start it on that bunker and try and cut it off, it's out of bounds down the right here. So no right shot. Now, the plan is to aim down the bunker, cut it off into the middle of the fairway. I know that the run out of the tree that I've zapped is 299, which into this wind, impossible. So that's the play. We're gonna go a little lower and try and squeeze it up there. If it does stay left, it'll probably be in the bunker. It's not the end of the world. Let's see how we go. Perfect. It was a beautiful, it was a high cut. It's the middle of the fairway. It wasn't as low as I thought, but we take it. Right, we're in the fairway again. This drive has not gone 330, it's gone about 260 maybe. It is a strong wind. It's left us about 150, 151 with the slope. I reckon it's a couple of yards uphill. Now the last hole, 
if I remember correctly, it was 146, and it was the exact same wind as this, and I went a couple of yards long. This is now 150. You can see what's coming here. Same shot, eight iron, shoulder to shoulder, flighted, guard on the right side of it, same shot. Let's go. Oh no, get up, get up. Oh, that's all right. Just overdrawn it, stalled my body out and give it, so when I hit that shot, I just want to stop the body, give it a little, overdrawn it a little bit, and I'll be honest with you, I was thinking about out of bounds right, I was hugging the right side of the green thinking, if you just, if you somehow leave that face open, which is unlike me, I'm out of bounds, but we're on the green, I'd say we're about 25 feet left of it. We've got a longer putt now, but it weren't a bad shot. It's a green in regulation. Into that wind, rain started to come. Lovely, this is commitment, this playing in these conditions. Can't get over these greens, they are beautiful. Nothing better than putting on good greens. They're scary, don't be wrong, but they are beautiful. If you're a member of this golf club, you're very, very lucky at the moment. Well, I feel like this is a kind of a double breaker. It feels like it might go wiggle to the left and then just edge to the right at the end. And my instinct is just to, I think it's a little bit more left to right than right to left. So I'm gonna go left edge. I'm gonna leave the flag in. And really, you know, this is that classic dustbin lid putt, really. You just want to be getting it to tap in distance and off we go. Pulled it a little bit. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's a bit of a tester. Huh. Misread as well, to be fair. It was wiggling left at the end. Straight away. Easy part, on to the next. All right, so we've got 297, hole seven. Severely dog leg, dog leg, dog leg right, you can get the words out. So, you know, you, you think you can get close to this, but you just can't. So you've got to kind of play two shots straight down the left. Right is obviously dead. There's a massive, you can see on the, on the drone there, there's just bushes and trees. There's a tree at 220. Don't want to obviously reach that. So probably want this to stop no more than 210, 205, 210 playing into this wind. I'm going to hit a four iron, which I hit 220. I think the wind will stall it a bit uh, and should leave me hopefully a wedge into the green from there. It's a little bit too far left. Sit. I mean, I struck it. Lovely. I've just overdrawn it. I think I'm in the left rough. I'm hoping I don't have any tree trouble. I've got a habit of doing that when there's trouble right. Let's give it a little... If we had three more yards of muscle, we'd be fine, but we are stymied behind a tree. We've got water on the left. I'm gonna try and hit like a little punch Arnie Palmer thing. We run it up there. We've got 119, probably wanna land it about 90 because it's gonna be coming in really low. I feel like I'm gonna hit a chip and run shot of a six iron and see if I can just, you know, I think I can keep it under these branches, carry enough momentum and hopefully you know, you take, when you're in this sort of position, I describe this to my players as a boxing fight, right? I'm losing the round right now. I just don't want to compound this error and end up getting knocked out. Just want to get through the round, make my par, worst case bogey, move on. Oh no. And we're in the water. Christopher, don't practice what you preach, boy. Right, let's go. So we went in the water. We're gonna take our drop, no nearer the hole. Two club lengths. All right, now we need to get up and down. Ah, oh, man. Did not want to make a bogey or a double bogey. Now I need to get up and down for a bogey. Let's have a little look. Maybe hold it, maybe hold it. Come on, be positive. Off mitt, slightly open face. Land it just on the grim with a little bit of speed, a little bit of spin. Bosh. Oh, wow. What are you doing? What are you doing, boy? This needs to go in for the bogey now. Needs to go in for the bogey. Remember back there when I said a boxing match? I feel like I've just been hit by Anthony Joshua little snaker. Dead weight needs to be it's absolutely rapid. It's going to go in sideways at the hole. I 
I'm brief. Right, that's a doublet. And we're back to level par. Listen, it was, it was going too well. Christopher, come on. Just what you need after a double bogey. 464 yard par four, into wind. Brilliant. Beautiful. Tell you what, this driver is on flames today. Let's see if we can get a nice fizz six iron next to the pin, would be lovely. Please be good, baby. Please be good. Oh my golf. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm sure if you've seen that. <laughs> what a golf shot. I'm actually a bit disappointed it's five, six paces short, but I literally could not have hit that any better. Punch draw, exactly as I talk, spoke up. We've got a good putt up the hill on this. This is stroke index one. How do you play stroke index one, 460 into in like that, and then the 297 little baby hole you make double? It's absolutely ridiculous. Golf, man. Golf, such an annoying game. Right, bounce back ability, resilience. That's what we need now. Roll this in. Roll this in. It's a part. I'm not even, I'm, yeah, that hurt. That part hurt. It wiggled right at the end, I just pushed it a touch. Hole nine, we're level par. I don't like saying that, but we are level par after that double. Very unlucky there. Tough hole, it goes sort of straight down, round to the right, and it kind of runs alongside the clubhouse and the car park. 405 yards off the white tee, straight into the wind again. So again, playing pretty long. Hope, I would never usually hit driver, but I've committed to playing aggressive today, so I'm gonna hit the driver, hopefully hit it 270-ish, leave myself a nice, you know, scorable number in, see if we can finish the nine with a birdie, and then get onto that back nine. Spinny fade, take it. And we've got a bad bounce here, I don't know how it's ended up here, it literally landed in the fairway, but we're here, we've got a little bit of tree trouble, we've got 163, it was a very spinny tee shot. Um, back pin, pin is way at the back and there is a road long. We do not want to go out of bounds long. So, you know, I'll take 25 feet, 30 feet short of this, which is about 10 yards. So from 165, I want this to end up between 155 and 160, playing into the wind, very strong into the wind. We're probably looking at 175. We had 185 on the last hit, the punch six. So I think I'm going to go punch seven coming out of the rough, take long out of the equation. I think that's the number. I mean, I've hit a great shot. I've towed it a bit, it's front edge. I've hit the punch cut. I was so scared of going long, I'm not gonna lie. Again, another mention, look at this fringe. It's like a green. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. Now, I've come up miles short. I was scared of going long. You can tell that I've been long in my time here. The percentage play would be to hit a little putt from here, really, but with the wind being into, and to take out some of the slope, I'm gonna hit 58. I'm gonna try and fly it maybe two thirds of the way. Think of this lie, we can get a little bit of check on it. See if we can get it close or maybe hold it. Ah, I caught it just a tiny bit heavy, but because of that lie and being firm, I did use the bounce, got away with it. I've left myself a little tester. Right, little tester then, finish the nine. Has to go in, has to. Inside right, good putt to finish the nine. Needed that so bad. Level par at the turn, come on. Needed that. Come on. Right, nine holes done, level par. There were some ups and downs, again, 
That is my game, that is golf right there. Double bogey out of nowhere. Feel really good about the game, but um, onto the back nine now. Really want to kick on and you know shoot a good score here. Wind is up, so I've got that as a little excuse, but we're going to go low back nine. I hope to see you there.